Here is an Okie Data printer made for the Phillipsburg division of Bell & Howell. I'm not sure what Phillipsburg is. I have to try to research that. Of course I know about Bell & Howell, but I'm not sure what the connection is there. That's just a standard Okie Data microline. And it does work, although it's going to need a, a new ribbon. Let's see if we can get some more information. This is a, a model 8288A or 8222, 8222A, made in December of 83. And it's got the it's got a typewriter type ribbon in it. My dad had an Okie Data when I was a kid, probably in around 85 or so. And it had a cart I think it had a cartridge type ribbon, although I may be mistaken. But I should be able to replace this pretty easily. Just get an old fashioned typewriter type ribbon and put it on there. But I've got now um let me put the lid back on here. Why it won't go? There we go, it won't go on. I've got, I found that you can use the command echo and then quotes and then the text string and then to device slash LP0 and that'll send data out to the parallel port from Linux. So let me, let me activate this here and we'll see what it does. It is working, but that ribbon is just that ribbon's just so old and worn out. So a new ribbon ought to get that working.